Joining us via Skype is Carrie Mallory. She is an awesome autism mom, and you can find her site on Facebook. It is Autism Will Not Define My Son. How much do we love that? Carrie is a remarkable person, and Autism Will Not Define My Son has a lot of different stuff going on this month of April. So first of all, Carrie, welcome back to the show. So great to have you here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me back. And uh, tell people how Autism Will Not Define My Son started. Um, well, my son was diagnosed um, shortly after his second birthday with being at risk of autism. Um, and one of the big things was is that people kept telling me, don't let them put a label on him. And I decided at that point in time that nobody was going to put a label on him. He was going to be who he wanted to be and when he wanted to be it and how he wanted to be it. So he may have autism, but autism does, does not define who he is or, or anything else. And it's a remarkable page. Honestly, Carrie, you have so much information about so many different things, and it's a very uplifting page. We want to encourage everybody to go to Facebook. Autism will not define my son. And you've got a bunch of different events that are coming up this month. Tell some, tell the folks at home some of the different things that you guys are doing. Yes. Um, the first thing, uh, the biggest thing that, that we we're, that we're have going on right now is We've joined forces with Inc. for Autism. Uh, Jack Scorhod, he's out of Canada. He started this campaign, Inc. for Autism, about three years ago when his son Lincoln was diagnosed. And he went, simply got a, a little puzzle piece tattoo, and then he realized how many more people wanted autism tattoos. And three years ago, he started this Inc. for Autism campaign. It started with 18 shops in the United States and Canada, and they raised $2,400. Um, the next year, they went up to 130 tattoo shops, including uh, the UK, Australia, Romania, Canada, and the US, and they raised over $20,000 for autism. Amazing. And then this year, they have over 220 shops out of 11 countries that are all involved in the Ink for Autism campaign. And so your particular Ink for Autism campaign, where will that be? Uh, Lady Luck Tattoo in Phoenix, Arizona, they're downtown Phoenix. Heather and Marge are the owners of the shop, and Heather actually has a daughter who is an adult on the spectrum. And when I originally um, went last year looking for tattoo shops to team up with, there were so many shops that you know kept saying, well, what's in it for me? What do we get out of it? And when I went to uh, Lady Luck Tattoo, Heather was like, okay, we're on board. She didn't ask one question. She's like, we'll donate all the profits, um, all of our time, and it's we've been teamed up with her. This will be our second year with Lady Luck Tattoo. And so if somebody wants to participate, what do they need to do? Um, they can go to my website at www.autismwillnotdefinemyson.com. And just um, you can either sign up for a pre-made tattoo, which are $68 in honor of the one in 68. Um, or you can design your own custom tattoo and with the help of Heather and Marge, they will get you a quote for your actual tattoo and time and size and color and wherever you want it done. But if you go to the website, um, you can have uh, request an appointment and then we'll send you a hold time and then you pay your $40 deposit and then go from there. Okay, really remarkable. And again, this is raising money for autism. But you've got some other events that are coming up. I know I was looking at your page this morning and you had something about owls, origami owls. <laughs> Um, a fellow autism mom, her name is Rosa. I actually met her through my autism page. Um, she is teamed up with Origami Owl, and they're actually based here out of Phoenix. It's a young girl, 18 years old, who went to her parents and said, hey, um, can you buy me a car? And they said, no, you need to earn it yourself. So she started this company, and it's jewelry-based, and they've got all kinds of little charms and little lockets, but um, they have an autism puzzle piece um, and Rosa is one of their um, distributors. So she's teamed up with me and we're doing this uh, Origami Owl Autism Fundraiser starts today and it's gonna go through the end of end of April. Okay, really um, And she's donating 50% of all sales to Connor's Walk team. And April's a, an intense month for you guys and you've got, you've got t-shirts and you've got all different kinds of things, ways people can participate. And you have some events later on in the year. I understand you've got a bingo night. <laughs> yeah, last year we did a uh, bingo night 80s style because it was at the time it was one in 88. 
So we had 80s style and um, we had people dress up in 80s garb and we had 80s music playing the entire time. Love it. So that was pretty fun. Um, we also had a strikeout um, autism only fundraiser. We plan on doing that again, uh, middle to end of September of this year. And then the t-shirts and the vehicle window stickers, that's an ongoing thing. Okay. Um, I actually just got word about a half an hour ago from my friend at C3 Kitchen in the Scottsdale Quarter that they're also going to team up and help us with the fundraiser this year, but I don't have details on that yet. Okay, cool. Well, we'll look forward to that. We'll have you back on to talk about that. But again, if Thank people you. want to know more information, they can go to your website or they can go to the Facebook page, which, which do Correct. you prefer they start at or doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So autismwillnotdefinemysson.com or Facebook autismwillnotdefinemysson.com. 